Hi guys, Emma Vigling with TYT Politics reporting down in South Florida. We're in the Debbie Wasserman Schultz district. We're deep in, in, in enemy territory, not enemy territory, because we're also covering Tim Canova. But today, Jordan and I went to a gala brunch. So it's not just a regular brunch, it's a fancy brunch where you have to pay $45 a ticket to get in. Uh, we are going to do a separate video on what we experienced inside the, in, inside the brunch, the strong, hand, strong arming from the Debbie Wasserman Schultz people, the the First Amendment shutdowns that we experience. But I want to talk about my own First Amendment shutdown because I was separate from Jordan, Jordan was somewhere else, and I was taking our camera and trying to cover the accurately the optic fest that Debbie Wasserman Schultz and John Lewis were doing. They were walking from the said brunch gala to uh, a polling place that was very close by. Debbie, we want Debbie, we want Debbie, we want Debbie. They made sure that it wasn't very far because there were going to be protests and they knew that. So first of all, I'll talk about how when I was in the brunch gala and Jordan and I were uh, not welcome there, to say the least, I was saw uh, her communications guy speaking with cops and looking out the window as I saw some protesters hanging a banner that said uh, something about corruption and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, alluding to that kind of stuff. They were hanging it over a bridge. Um, and I speculated that they were not going to let Debbie walk across that bridge, that her people were going to make sure that she had an alter alternate route to go, to go around. Um, but that ended up not being the case because basically her communications guy worked with the cops to make sure that those people were on the other side of the street and were away from the media and from Debbie Wasserman Schultz's people who were taking pictures. So I'll start with... Um, Debbie and, and John Lewis, who was the, the guest of honor there, uh, were doing press outside, taking photos with people. Then they were going to leave that particular area right outside the brunch and cross a bridge to go to a polling place where uh, Debbie was going to, to, to do her thing. So John Lewis, obviously famous for being a civil rights leader and getting beaten on the Edmund Pettus, Br Pettus Bridge uh, with Martin Luther King Jr., a legendary guy. But her, him walking next to Debbie Wasserman Schultz across a bridge from a brunch gala to a polling place is such an obvious optic and they couldn't have it ruined by some agitators who had a, a anti-Debbie Wasserman Schultz banner um, on that bridge and that's what they were planning on doing. So as I was uh, as I was taking a uh, video of the entire situation, they were chanting, Debbie is not democracy. <laughs> Uh, something about her being undemocratic as they were holding this banner. It was a very small protest and I was walking w kind of next to Debbie Wasserman Schultz and John Lewis and her people started chanting, Debbie, Debbie. Debbie, 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 So I thought that was like, that was what the mainstream media was going to cover. I wanted to cover what people were protesting. So as I was walking next to Debbie Wasserman Schultz, I kind of ran ahead with John, uh, uh, to go get a glimpse of the, of the banner that people were holding up and, and hear what the protesters were saying. And a guy in a red shirt comes up to me and says, what are you doing? Don't cover that. Don't film that. And was putting his hands on me. And I said, stop. I know. I want to cover that. Okay. I, t I did what you wanted. I took the video of, of your candidate. I'm assuming this guy was either security for her or was a fan of hers. He was basically trying to get me to not film the protest. 
And I said, stop. And so he was standing in front of me trying to block my shot. I was getting around him. I said, I'm covering this. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I, this isn't me just trying to smear her. I'm, I'm doing my job. And then, then the police were saying, go back to the other side of the street. Go back to the other side. No fucking way! 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 Why am I not? Hey, I'm gonna lead you across the street. Sir, I'm, I'm covering this. No fucking way! So clearly what her communications guy was doing when he was looking out the window and seeing that banner being set up on the bridge was basically saying prevent people from filming that particular situation have coordinating with the cops to make sure that the optics were good i think i was still able to get my shot but it was incredibly surprising so so essentially debbie wasserman schultz was on one side of a blockaded street on a sidewalk and they were on the other side i tried to cross f across the street to just get a shot and a, a guy in a red shirt uh, who may have been working for her campaign prevented me tried to prevent me from doing that and the cops were not being as aggressive as that guy, but were essentially agreeing with him and just didn't want me to give any fuel, add any fuel to the fire, which is not their job. It was one of the craziest things I've ever experienced. I'd never seen it really firsthand. I've only heard and read stories about these anti-democratic situations. So um, unlike when I observed protests that were going on, say, with the, the Westboro Baptist Church at the Bernie rally, which, which I saw, the cops were protecting them and, and preventing, or allowing their First Amendment rights to be exercised. But my First Amendment rights to film and to cover that particular protest were, were, were not really as paramount because they're kind of agitators. Um, and, and, and the communications guy who was also strong arming Jordan and I the entire time uh, had, had given them the heads up to not allow for that kind uh, of agitation and that kind of uh, tomfoolery, if you will. So my take was just, it was angering. It was incredibly angering. We had a very frustrating day when we were inside. We were trying to cover this event. We paid $45 each, $90 in total, to get into this event. We weren't disrupting. We were tweeting. And we were still being hovered around, being strong-armed uh, by her people, probably because we stuck out so much because maybe, yeah, she probably recognized Jordan from when he, when he went up to her and interviewed her. And also we were the youngest people there by, by a country mile. So that was a large part of it. They were basically singling us out and not allowing us to exercise our First Amendment rights once we got inside. But I thought, no, when, you know, once we're outside of this closed event, I should be able to film and cover the story the way that I want to. I gave, I filmed her talking. It's not like I was doing voiceover saying, this woman sucks, this woman sucks. I was just filming her and filming it as it was, walking with them. There was a CBS guy a camera guy next to me who was filming her and once I was done once I had enough of that footage I wasn't gonna do state TV for Debbie Wasserman Schultz I was gonna go across the street and show the banner of her of her protests uh, of the protesters who were who were trying to make a point a point that I happen to agree with and the ridiculous bodyguard or fan goes don't film that and put his hands on me and then and then the the cops were backing him up like and i'm a white girl i, I can only imagine what i what would have been done to me if i were black and it, it was just ridiculous it was really one of the worst experiences I've, I've ever had with police and i've actually had some pretty bad experiences um and and, and especially when i'm just trying to do my job and I literally said over and over, I'm covering this. I want to be covering this. And they still didn't really want, they didn't want me to. And the police were in on it. So again, that's my take on it. Uh, I, I would encourage you guys to check out our other video where we give you some inside baseball on, on the Debbie Wasserman Schultz uh, brunch gala. Oh, fancy, fancy. So please check that out and uh, subscribe to TYT Politics.